Hey everyone, um, this is just a really quick video um, to get out the new firmware for uh, the iPod and the iPhone 1.1.3. I've literally just downloaded uh, iTunes 7.6, downloaded the 1.1.3 firmware and also uh, purchased the extra upgrade where you can get basically all the iPhone apps on the iPod. So I'll basically just go right and show you. Um, it's just the reset home screen there. Um, be a bit difficult to do, but never mind. Right, so as you can see there, I've got all of the um, iPhone icons on my iPod Touch, which has been paid for. This is not hacked, um, not anymore. Basically, I, I restored it and paid for the application. It's thirteen pounds, I think. Um, along the bottom, you can see that the dock has changed. It's changed to the iPhone dock, um, whereas originally the iPod dock was just like a reflective sheet. Um, and if you can also see on there, I'm not sure if you can, I've put two um, web snippets on, one for rususu.com, which is my um, iPod Touch and iPhone web app, and one for Google. You can sort of see them, it's the last two on the bottom in the black. Um, and then you can see all the other applications there. I'll go and I'll show you Google Maps, so the cool new feature on Google Maps. Just gonna load it. This is on my wireless. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure I want to show you my address. Um, but if I, on... I'll just cancel this. So basically what you do is on the bottom left is a small icon which you press and this is literally home me into maybe within 100 meters of where I actually am which is pretty damn good to be honest. Um, so and that's done it in less than 15 seconds so that basically tells me where I am and if I go from here um, so that's pretty good seems to work a little faster as well but I'm not sure whether that's just me or not so you can basically see that it's pinpointed where I am within that area um, what else is there to show I've obviously got I've got weather, I've got YouTube which is always there I've now got notes um, mail which is fully set up calendar, um, it looks slightly different to me calendar for some reason um, the now the top today's date is highlighted in blue I'm not sure whether that was before or not um, and there's the list view you can just scroll through that list and see what's on today I don't think I had anything on today um, and month view as usual um, what else is there the settings panel is pretty much the same all the same sort of stuff. Everything you normally see. Um, and then if I show you these, you see the extra two applications on the bottom. If I go ahead and click this, if I properly click this, there we go. That will open up the actual web page on the internet. And that's my web app right there. So that did it really quickly and intuitively. So basically you can have bookmarks on your home screen, which is the gist of it. Um, the other feature of this is I'll show you. If you hold your finger down on any of the applications, if you notice right there, that you can either delete your two chosen um, web apps, or I'll try and hold it as still as possible, and then you might be able to notice. So you can see that's actually wobbling about, and then if you touch one again, you can move it around. I'll try and sorry about this guys, it's just a little difficult. So you move this around and rearrange them. If you want to delete, let's say Google, you press that little delete button. And it says Are you sure you want to delete? I say yes, and it's gone. And then to get to stop them shaking and to set the position, you just press the home button, and then that's set. So this is literally just exactly as um, the leaked video was on the internet of the supposed 1.1.3 firmware, um, and this is actually it. So I'll show you stocks as well. Um, strangely enough, Apple's stock has fallen by eleven dollars. You can see that, um, but that basically that will shoot up by thirty, forty dollars by tomorrow. Um, 
So yeah, that's working. This is not hacked. I've, I've completely. I used to have a hacked iPhone on 1.1.2. Uh, no, 1.1.1. And then this it had all these applications, but as soon as I saw it today, I figured, well, why not have an unhacked iPhone and still have all those features? I paid thirteen pounds for it over in America. It's twenty dollars. Um, and with any new iPod, it comes free. And I think because of the way I did it, um, I installed the new firmware. And then it gives you an option to, um, well, you have to go on the website and say you want to, you want the software upgrade to this. Um, and then basically it takes maybe 10 seconds and surely that, that can't be it downloading it. So I think what happens is it activates the features from within your iPod. So there may be something interesting there um, where hackers find a way to enable it for free. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you want any more news and updates on this and a full review of the keynote, please visit uh, johnfourlakers.blogspot.com. That's uh, mine and John's blog. Yeah, it's running on for time now, guys. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Uh, oh, and also um, please comment, rate, and if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye bye.